Hey guys and welcome to Petrolped and welcome to Motec Performance. I've taken a couple of hour drive up north today to bring Charlie Clubman to Motec. Now, I worked with these guys during lockdown. They sent me a little panel air filter, something to do to keep the boredom away. But finally today, Charlie Clubman is gonna get some Motec magic. Now I'm here at Motec today to get a new Remus exhaust for the JCW Clubman, but the system I'll be fitting also fits the BMW M135i. Remus do a sports and race system, and in this video I'll be looking at the differences between the two, showing the choices of exhaust tips, and most importantly, the before and after sound. So let's start off with the before sound of the JCW Clubman. Need to sort that arch gap out of the way. <laughs> now then, we've got the car up on ramps and we are starting to uh, take the old exhaust off, but I thought it would be useful to go underneath the car and show you a few things. So this in here, this is the OPF filter just in here. So that is gonna stay uh, and we're gonna replace everything from uh, probably about here. So the existing exhaust pipe will need to be cut and then the new one will be attached. But if you follow the pipe, it's gonna come all the way along here. And then it comes to the rear silencer box just here, which you can kind of see when you're following the car, you can kind of see a little bit of that. So all of this is gonna go. And then I've got two tailpipes. So that tailpipe there, if you can see, it doesn't have a valve in it. But this one, if you're ever following a Clubman, I always get comments about this, you can see the valve in here is actually closed. So when we put the new uh, exhaust on, uh, I'll show you the two different options you've got, but this is all gonna go and re be replaced by something far, far more efficient and something that sounds a lot better. Apologies for the voiceover, I had a mic failure on the day. First of all, the connection tube is actually a 70 mil bore compared with the 65 mil that came off of the car. And here are the two systems. The sports system has the larger air box and actually on this system, gases flow through the air box in both sport mode and normal mode. So it's still valve activated with a valve here using the sport mode button in the car. In normal mode, gases will flow to the right and out of the right hand tailpipe. And in sport mode, they will come into the air box but come out of the left hand tailpipe. A slightly more muffled tone compared to this, the race system. Both these systems are made out of handmade, 100% stainless steel. The gases will come in here in normal mode and then bear round to the right through this pipe and then into this air box where they come into the air box, back out of it again and then exit through the right hand tailpipe. When you activate sport mode, the valve opens in the left hand tailpipe and then that basically allows gases to exit directly through the tailpipe and it's now effectively a straight through exhaust from the OPF filter to the outside world. Now the airbox is dropped down, you can see just how big it is. But also if we go underneath the car, we can see that we've actually started to make the cut to remove the old airbox and old pipe. So the cut's just here, we'll attach the new exhaust just here. Size difference, that is unbelievable. Yeah. That really is a huge difference. Wow. Now for me, the most exciting bit about today is being able to choose what exhaust tips I'm gonna put on the car. Now, I'm gonna put all the details in the description below. When you buy the exhaust from Motec, you've got, you can choose the race or sports exhaust, and then there are different total prices depending on which tips you choose because there's quite a big price difference in the ones you can go for so we'll start in ascending order so these are the the cheapest ones that we've got and they are stunning uh, chrome tips these are actually the exhaust that are on the red car that's outside so i'll overlay some pictures 
but they're just fantastic things. And one of the nice things about the, the tips, the exhaust tips that were on the Clubman sit quite a long way into the diffuser. They don't really stick out very proud. So we're gonna be able to move these out a little bit more. I'll explain what I mean by that very shortly. But that's your first option, if you like a bit of chrome, and I just think they look absolutely mega. Then the next ones, oh man, these are just so nice. Gloss black, and then they've got a Remus Remus logo there with an inlay of matte carbon fiber and brushed aluminium on the inside. They're just stunning things. Absolutely mega. I am hugely tempted. I'm uh, Even now, I think these are probably the ones I'm gonna go for, but let's have a look at the other options because the final option and the most expensive ones, now these are the ones that are on the white car outside, so I'll overlay a picture of these. These are carbon and titanium and they, they are so light, it's unbelievable. They do look really cool, however, and there is a big however, they are significantly more expensive than the other two options because they're made of carbon fiber and titanium. Um, and although I like the look of them, if you look at them on the car, for me, I they, they, they kind of, I want something that stands out a little bit more than that. And also they are quite a lot of money. So um, I'm probably not gonna go for those, even though they do look absolutely banging. I think, I think these middle ones, could be quite good. What do you think, Mike? <laughs> I'm doing some uh, middle ones, middle ones? I reckon these. Oh no. Now, all of these, oh. I tempted you on Instagram, I think You it was, did, was. mate. Your factory tower pipe is silver. Yeah. It's a brushed silver. So I think something like this is quite rare. We don't do a lot of them. Yeah. You're getting, obviously, the carbon, which is quite a nice bit of detailing, and you're getting a quite a factory OEM look but bigger. Yeah. So it'll certainly look nice when you get up close. And I quite like the detail, it makes it look a bit like a watch. Saying that, the gloss black will go with your wheels. Ooh. I'll leave that to you. <laughs> maybe nice we put them both up and see what we like. We can do that. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe we have one on one side and one on the other. <laughs> and that as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, I don't, I, I like them both. I really do. Yeah. The most important thing when you're picking a tailpipe is pick the correct tailpipe for the car. So when you get a chrome, for example, that looks quite good on a black car. Yeah. So yeah, again. It's a really, um, oh man, choices, choices. Uh, well, it, it, put in the description below, guys, which do you think? Exactly. <laughs> and one of you is going to be disappointed. They're lovely, <laughs> aren't they? And then while we're in here, yep. <laughs> let's just have a look around. This is like a little Aladdin's cave of loveliness, of suspension components and spacers. And oh man, there's some lovely things in here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's expensive even working here. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're, we're quite fortunate. We've got some really nice stuff. Paddle shifters, they're quite nice. Oh. Got a lot of those as well. Oh. And yes, that set will fit a mini. <gasps> a bit like the Alpha ones, aren't they? Mm hmm. They can. Oh, Matt, they are. Well, now they're out. Oh, no. Oh, they're really nice, aren't they? Do they just clip on, or? No, you've got to take the steering wheel off. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Van, very cool. So they're quite good. Um, and is yeah. that, you were saying that's uh, This is an M2 exhaust. M2 exhaust. Yeah, this is a M2 comp exhaust system. Um, and as you can see, similar sort of thing. When the valve is closed, it goes into the box. Mm -hmm. uh, and obviously when the valve is open, it goes bypass. Unfortunately, when you've got an M2, it's quite an expensive system because you have two valves and four tailpipes. So that <laughs> with the carbon system is quite expensive, but yeah. it's quite a popular one, especially on the M2 comps. You know, people like the carbon. And the Mr. Valve. Joe Achilles. But yes, he has that exact same system. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, exactly, yeah. There you go. <laughs> ah, you see. So uh, let's go and offer up the two different tailpipe options once everything's on the car. I kind of see bits being wiggled around. It's getting close, I think. Now, I know we are here with Charlie Clubman and Minis, but I had to take a moment just to look at this M135i that the guys have done for uh, Mr. TRL deals himself. Um, it's just wicked. Lots of M performance bits that I've not seen uh, on a M135i before. The little uh, front canards, um, the front um, grille. Um, it's got a lovely side skirt kit as well. And then you come around the back and it's got a, again, M performance rear wing looking very cool. And it's got the same exhaust that I'm having fitted on mine. Uh, I just think it looks wicked. And then this car over here, uh, I actually probably prefer this wing, to be honest. Um, just a little flick on the top rather than the A45-inspired uh, M Performance wing. But yeah, and again, this car has the exhaust that I'm uh, I'm going to have. Because the original plan, actually, when Mike first got in touch, was uh, when the when the race exhaust came in for that one, they were going to take 
the sports exhaust off that one and give it to me and then put the race one on but the race one's so cool he said you need to have the race exhaust my friend so that's what we're having but yeah they are just i think that is stunning that is a brand new car it's not it's not even been um uh, the the pre-delivery inspection done on it yet but yeah, so the guys here at Motec do a whole range of things, not just for BMW, they do Mini. Clearly they're known for their Motec stance and their uh, lowering springs and just that. They, they, they have this knack of making a car look stunning, the way it sits on the road. Um, and they are uh, a major um, uh, dealer for Remus exhausts. And I didn't realise that Remus, actually, the, the exhausts that are on the BMW Mini originally are made by the same company as Remus. Remus is their kind of sports and performance exhaust. So the good thing about the exhaust we're putting on is it shouldn't affect my warranty at all because it's OPF filter back, it's connecting to the same valve um, uh, settings, just put it into sport mode and I'm going to go into loud racy mode but I cannot wait to hear it, I really can't because Mike drove up this morning when I was waiting by the gates to come in, literally drove around the corner in that and I could hear it coming and it just sounded so sweet so I can't wait to hear what the Mini's going to sound like. Well, things have progressed quite a lot while I was choosing my tailpipes. The new system is getting close. I mean, the difference in terms of the cavity that's there, the size that's there to fit the old air box compared with that tiny little canister is absolutely amazing. The other thing, the rear view of the car is going to look quite different because you're not going to get to see that bottom part of the air box anymore. Right, decision time, decision time. Exhaust is on, apart from the tailpipes. Which Mike can't fit. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, <laughs> Mike's fitted, he's fitted. So, we're on the right hand side then, this is the brushed aluminium with the uh, lovely matte carbon. That's the one I sort of, I recommended to you. Yeah. Because it looks quite factory, but OEM plus. Yeah. It looks like a standard exhaust that could have been brought from the dealer, but a bit more. Yeah. And the gloss black one looks like an aftermarket exhaust, but does tie very well in with the gloss black parts you've already fitted. Oh no, oh man, that's <laughs> it looks better now, but actually the best angle is from here, that angle of that, I don't know if it'll come out on camera, but it just, just does look really cool, just you sticking out. back as well. That looks quite cool. The silver one actually looks bigger, so it looks like it fits the gap more, but you know they're the same size. Ah, yeah, 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 it does actually. So what do we think? Oh, this is difficult choices. Cho I think silver, you know, I really do. Yeah. Because you can actually see it going into the car, whereas the black one tends to get a bit lost, I think. And also, like we sort of said off camera, because obviously the are adjustable, and you can pull them in or pull them out. Uh, flat yeah. The tailpipes are in so yeah. far. Yeah, we just show that. So that's yeah, quite of course, cool. Yeah, so literally, you can go all the way in. Yeah. Which is like a factory look. Yeah. Or pull it all the way out. Yeah. Hmm. The good thing is, is that we can put it to a certain way and you can just adjust it yourself. Yeah. yeah. I, mm, I see, I thought coming out, definitely, definitely gloss black, but I think that that, that brushed aluminium looks Josh nice. Bonnie as well, she's a mini driver. Yes, yes, let's get Bonnie on camera. Where Bonnie, is she? Can we borrow you? We, we need your, your perspective. Come down here a second and help us yeah, choose. Mini drivers. <laughs> yes. So, so, Joe, you gotta go gloss black, aren't you? Yeah, what do you reckon, Joe? Gloss black. I'm gonna say silver. What? So we got to, We got to choose. Mm. Oh, <laughs> I think silver as well, actually. Oh no, that's fifty-fifty. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's what the Yeah, I think the silver is quite nice. The silver does look cool. Although the black, there's so much black on the car. Yeah, but I think the silver looks nice because you've got so much black on there. So you can get away with uh, that. I, see. I think it detracts too much from it. Then. See now, this is this is why you always ask, always ask a woman to give you the final decision. <laughs> So we <laughs> yeah. No, because she doesn't actually know we're having an exhaust oh, fitted, oh, okay. so... <laughs> <laughs> now it's down, uh, the silver one just looks bigger. Uh, and I quite like the, the fact that the carbon inlay with the Remus um, on it just stands out a little bit more. And I thought I'd go black all day long, but I think I'm going to go silver. Well, decision's made. We went brushed aluminium and i have to say i'm really chuffed with it it just looks brilliant main choice or reason for the choice is i just think that this this little bit of um carbon just stands out far far nicer and then we've also just sat them just proud a little bit and i just think it looks wicked but the most exciting bit is yet to come <laughs> starting the car and hearing it here we go start up time 
Do you approve? I approve. I approve. Oh, oh, oh. Mate, that sounds amazing. Oh my god. Yes. Better? Yeah. Do it again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mate. Uh, well, that sounds insane. <laughs> so let's just do a bit of a drive away in sport mode, shall we? Ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's it that's the sound I wanted it's not too barky and shouty because obviously it's still got the front end all the gas particulate filters in it and stuff it just sounds deep and raw and oh. oh man that sounds mint sport mode Happy. I am. That good choice of tailpipe. The, the tailpipes look amazing, actually. Yeah, nice detail to it. But what we were just saying is, what I like about it is it's it's loud. Yep. But it's not ridiculous. No, no, no. It's enough. Yeah. Which is what you want. Yeah. Bear in mind, this keeps the OPF filter in place. Yeah. There's no mapping needed. No engine management lights. It keeps everything all in place. Everything's all happy. It's just a sports exhaust system from their back. So if I just drive up there in sport, so yeah. I drive back there in quiet eco green mode. Yeah. See what you think. Yeah. If you're about to hear me. I uh, know, mate. Um, we won't kill polar bears. No, we won't. We're no, exactly. exactly. <laughs> oh my days! I am so happy with the end result. It just sounds exactly how I wanted it. It's just got a really nice deep rumble. I've got pops and crackles. Interestingly, apparently, because this is like literally a, uh, a brand new car, slightly different software, that doesn't kind of pop and bang and crackle nearly as much as that. And it's not ridiculous. It's not as raucous as Ruby Roadster. It's just how I wanted it. Now, here's the thing. I've had a good chat with Mike and the guys here at Motec, and we're gonna do a little bit of a petrol ped deal. I'm gonna put all the details in the description below of the price of the sports and the race exhaust with the different types of tips that we've talked about. But what Mike's agreed to do, that if you email the address I'll put in the description below and mention Petrolped, you will either get free shipping or if you come here, free fitting if you buy exhaust an exhaust from them. How cool is that? So a massive, massive thank you to Mike and the guys at Motec Performance. It's so great to finally be here and hopefully this is not the last thing that we will do together. We've had a talk about a few other things while I'm here. He's there, he's just gonna get some stuff. For, uh, Mike, come over here, please. Mike. Oh, I'm on the way, I'm on the way, I'm on the way. <laughs> Socially distanced, of course. Thank you for everything today, it's been brilliant. So yeah, I'll put all the details below. Get in touch with this guy, free shipping or free fitting. Whichever they want, exactly. My yep. email will be down below, so just drop yep. me an email, reference it for Yeah. Or if you don't drive a Mini as well. Oh yeah, or if it's M135i, yeah. they'll, they'll fit for that. Yeah, so, tell you what, there you go. There, uh, there we go, any, yeah. any Remus exhaust. Any Remus exhaust. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Exactly, yeah. Brilliant. So anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have done so, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. Uh, I cannot wait now to get in that car and drive home. <laughs> I can't wait, but anyway. First reaction video, haven't you? I, I will do one, don't worry. <laughs> I will see you on the next film, guys, so you take care. Drive safe.